What's good, Relentless Gang? You know who it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Relentless Lex, and I'm back like I never left this mother. Yes, sir, ski. All right, so you guys, man, we got Chris Brown revealing Usher. Huh. Now, if you guys haven't, you no, know, Chris Brown just uh, had a fight, knockout, drag out with Usher, bro, at a birthday party, I believe it is. Matter of fact, Usher had a party for Chris Brown. Somehow or another, Usher starts screaming at Tiana Teller. He think it was up with some war show that she had him counseled off some war show. So he's belligerently drunk. It goes after Tiana Teller. Um, Usher being the guy that he's is, he's taking up for Tiana Teller. Uh, Chris Breezy didn't like that, I guess. So Usher didn't mind his freaking business. But, yo, Usher did what a real man would have done. He stuck up for Tiana. They got into altercation. But now, this is Chris Brown revealing that Usher is Diddy's next target after Jamie, bro. As we all know, Usher was 13 years old, I think. He was a, he was a kid, teenager. And he stayed with Puffy for like a year. There was some allegations going on then with those two. But we're here now. We're going to check this out. Let's see what, let's see what Chris Breezy is going to reveal. They made a compilation video of you because they said you were signing real suspect mm. on the on the interview. I'm saying I don't play games, y'all know. You know what I'm saying? I'm a grown man. I don't play games. Puff saying, you know, R&B is dead. He sounds nuts to me. It sounds crazy. I'm looking at what I think is getting ready to happen between Puff and... Oh, bro, I see fly ass motherfucker doing... How the fuck you in the kitchen? Looks like Diddy is in the mood to expand his hit list. People in the know claim that after Jamie Foxx, Usher is next in line. Things are already set into motion cause Diddy has sent his goons to rough Usher up. The news just broke that Chris Brown jumped on Usher in his own birthday celebration. That was, that what I was saying, that was kind of weird, bro. That was kind of weird. So my whole thing is, maybe, maybe, ah, uh, maybe it was, it was Diddy the whole time. Chris Brown started it. Maybe the security guards is the whole plot masters, you know, because imagine if Diddy was talking to Chris Brown's security guards behind the scenes, not Chris Brown even knowing that Diddy's in cahoots with his, with his security guards. Bro, rough usher up. Wow, bro, this is... This is Given strange. the tight relationship between Diddy and Chris, people can't help but speculate that Diddy might be the preparator. Well, buckle up, people, cause you are up for a pretty rough ride. Stay with us to get all the juicy well, details know on the latest Diddy four, drama. Usher Raymond Four, an American R&B singer and artist, was recently invited to Chris Brown's birthday bash. Although Usher was seen having the time of his life while singing, the rumor. Okay, so he was invited. I thought he was hosting it. Like I thought he had it, but he was actually invited. I thought he was the one that, that made the party happen. This habit that his enjoyment did not last long. Things are said to have gotten heated between Usher and Chris Brown at the party. The U.S. stars were both at the Skate Rock City Roller Rink in Las Vegas, where Chris was celebrating his 34th birthday. And interestingly, Usher threw a lavish birthday bash for his fellow singer. However, Okay, video yeah, so it, it, she just said it. She said, Usher, she confirmed it. Usher threw the freaking party, bro. Probably with his own money, he probably surprised them and everything. Had people come out. Footage obtained by TMZ suggests the loyal hitmaker and OMG singer didn't end the night on the friendliest terms. But it didn't just stop at arguing. Chris reportedly became peed off and began yelling at Tiana for whatever reason. When things got more heated, his longtime pal Usher intervened to calm the situation down. However, Chris is said to have started swearing at both Tiana and Usher, but directed most of his anger towards the hitmaker, Yeah. Eventually, Chris told his crew they were leaving, at which point the group is believed to have exited the venue. Maybe it was a tactic to get out of the public eye because TMZ states that Usher took off his skates and went after them. According to a witness, Usher went behind a string of charter buses parked outside, which is where Chris and his team were. Soon after this allegedly, Chris Brown and Usher were involved in an altercation and Usher allegedly emerged with what appeared to be a bloody nose. Okay, so basically, all right, so Chris and his team was leaving. 
So Usher took off his skates and goes behind them. Now he he's provoking them at this moment. That's called provoke, right? He's provoking them. And they are security guards. Even the popular celebrity gossip channel, Pop Face also reported the incident. Chris Brown and Usher got into a heated argument that apparently turned violent at Chris' birthday party, TMZ confirms. Usher reportedly tried to intervene after Chris started yelling at Tiana Taylor for not wanting to talk to him. Later, Usher came back with a bloody nose. Well, people in the know believe that Chris was just a puppet and Diddy was the one pulling the strings. You see, Diddy has always hated being highlighted for his crooked deeds in the media. Just see what happened with Jamie Foxx, the other person who spoke up against him. Jamie was recently all over the media about the infamous gay Diddy parties. He actually gave intricate details also announcing that he snuck in while pretending to be a cameraman. Popped out the town car with a camera, said, yo, Puff, yo, you gotta let me film this, the whole thing, we need to document this, playboy. But soon after the news broke that Jamie was in the hospital and his situation was critical, even his relatives came from abroad to be by his side. It was bad, bad enough that family members from outside of Atlanta, there were some in Atlanta, but family members from outside flew in. Well, even though he is now on his road to recovery, sources at the hospital revealed that Jamie has spoken to the police. The Grammy award-winning actor explained... Okay, so that's a good thing, bro. That's a great thing. So now we know Jamie is in, is in good conditions, bro. Maybe not top-tier condition, but he's in a, a great enough condition to where he can, can communicate and let the police know exactly what's going on, who he feel like probably tried to kill him and poison him on the set of his new um, movie that he was shooting. Um... So that's that's amazing. That's great. I'm pretty sure once everything, when the smoke clears, it's really going to be a dime drop. You feel me? Claimed that his medical complication was not natural because someone is after him. His explosive remarks have unsettled many of his fans. One of them reported on Twitter, Jamie Foxx told the cops somebody is trying to kill him. I'm telling you, man, it's like they have a timer of these celebs' lives. I believe him. And recently, Usher also started speaking out about Diddy's insane twisted behavior. Remember when Usher revealed in an interview that he attended the infamous Puffy Flavor Camp and some really wild things were happening there? Hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was... And it was <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand he called, what I was he called it a looking Flavor at. Camp. And fans are right on it, claiming that right after... Bro, who gonna call their house Flavor Camp? Bro, that sounds suspect already, bro. Like, Flavor Camp? My, bro, how, how, let me want to tell my dad. Hey, yo, dad, can I go spend the night at my house? I'm at my homeboy house. He said, yo, your homeboy who, son? You know, little, little Sean down the road. He called his place Flavor Camp. Bro, what? My dad would have, bro. <laughs> Flavor Camp? Boy, go sit your ass down somewhere. <laughs> Diddy was exposed for his DL lifestyle, Usher ended up in an altercation. Things just don't add up. It's funny how the focus was on Diddy allegedly being gay and Usher semi-outed him in an interview now all of a sudden Chris Brown allegedly punched Usher in the nose at Chris Brown's birthday party. Actually, the point is that fans have already labeled Diddy as a prime suspect because there was no way that Chris' birthday was being celebrated and Diddy wasn't invited. So what I'm hearing is Breezy was sauced and tried to spin the block on Tiana. She violated, he got disrespectful, Usher tried to step in and ended up getting stepped on. My one question about this scrum, where was Diddy? Now, if you follow Diddy really closely, you might know that Diddy had a birthday bash of his own and was getting pretty handsy with Chris Brown. Even though they are really tight, Chris was visibly uncomfortable. Diddy forced Chris to get on a huge bed with him to dance. Well, clearly Chris was trying to run, maybe because he was quite aware of how Diddy had a habit of manhandling men. Because there is no way he did not know how Diddy announced... Bro, you see the body language right there. Look, Puff is trying to... I'm surprised he wasn't trying to grab his butt, bro. It wouldn't surprise me at all, bro. It would not surprise me. Diddy forced Chris to get on a huge bed with him to dance. Well, clearly Chris was trying to run, maybe because he was quite aware of how Diddy had a habit of manhandling men. Because there is no way he did not know how Diddy announced to the world that he used to wrestle with Usher when he was a minor. Now it does look like Diddy did indeed mess with Usher-esque shoe only because word on the street is that Usher's mom confronted Diddy for his immoral behavior. A fan even suspected that Diddy buys their silence by spending a ton on them. 
Usher's mother confronted P. Diddy about his potential sexual involvement with her son when he was 14. When he buys them these extensive things, it's basically buying their silence, hopefully to gain back the trust or to buy their loyalty to stay silent. Well, despite everything, Diddy has cackled Usher intimately in front of hundreds of people claiming that he can take him on the kitchen aisle. Nobody else can take that time, boy. I see you, fly ass motherfucker doing baby. How the fuck you in the kitchen? But you see, Diddy is a seasoned player. He has no problem with lying to your face or in front of the camera. When the video of him catcalling Usher about doing the deed surfaced, he had the audacity to claim he had never seen it. Even the host of The Breakfast Club called him out on his lies, but Diddy did not falter. Did you see that? Of course, nah. I didn't see this. Nah, I didn't see it. You didn't see it? I swear to God. Uh, Come yeah. on, man. You saw that on the world, you And on the tram. Check, check this out. Fans believe that Diddy made Usher uncomfortable in front of so many people. Usher feels very uncomfortable. The body language says it all. Another one pointed out that Diddy is actually subtly hinting at the fact that he is not done with Usher. I don't know why. He should be used to it. He knows Diddy's not through with him. Well, let's not forget the wow. fact that Usher has recently started to stand up to Diddy on some occasions. There was that time when Diddy and Usher were in a recent sit-down with host Bevy Smith and the My Way Cruder expressed that he wants no part of that debate. R&B is real mother of King Dead as of right now. The R&B I made my babies too. R&B gotta be judged to a certain thing. It's the feeling though, doggy. It's a feeling. You gotta be able to sing for R&B and then you gotta tell the truth. R&B is not a hustle. This shit is about feeling your vulnerability. Usher fiercely denied Diddy's proclamation that R&B is dead by saying, how can something come out 20 some odd years ago and then all of a sudden have a resurgence in a way that people just wanna talk about it. Sing it, enjoy it. That's because it's classic. That's superstar, that's R&B, he stated. So when I hear people, even like Puff saying R&B is dead, he sounds nuts to me. It sounds crazy, especially knowing he was a pioneer and beneficiary of it, there would be no hip hop R&B. So it's blasphemous to hear people say anything, especially hip hop cats, to say anything about R&B. The sudden fight in Usher surprised Diddy so much that he backtracked his statement the very next day. Diddy took to Twitter claiming that his outrageous remarks were out of love. This conversation was out of love and me purposely wanting to bring attention to R&B. It was something that I saw the effect of the hip hop and R&B balance. That balance is honesty and realness when it comes together, melodies, vulnerability and most importantly love. This message is that R&B game needs more love, vulnerability, support. Given the altercations between Usher and Diddy and what happened to Jamie after he stood up to him, it is quite clear that Usher is likely to be next on Diddy's hit list. That's it for today folks. Until next time. Bro. At least that we are aware of what's going on. Most of us are awoke and aware. Some of us still don't believe it. Some of us still in denial. But if something happened to Usher, bro, I think personally, I think this is this is correct. Like uh, the whole Chris Brown Usher thing, I think it really was Puffy probably telling Chris, yo, bro, go rough him up. Don't do nothing to him because he's probably still making Puffy some money somehow or another. They probably got some own. Um, some 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 uh some money tied up together. They probably business partners somewhere on a lot of things, but but bro, don't hurt him. But we gonna we gotta rough him up a little bit, you know. You know he's he probably thinking, you know, he might be a little soft. He ain't gonna really fight back. Chris Brown is gonna go execute, but you know he's supposed to execute. He sent us the messages, and they probably all talk behind the scenes one day, yo, on a three way call or something or Facetime. Diddy probably tell him, like, bro, I had to let Chris do you like that. <laughs> you know, you need to shut up and stop trying to tell us, you know. But we're going to find out, man. Diddy, I think Diddy's going to be, oh, uh, man, like like me, me and my own, this, this subscriber, we talked on my own first Jamie Foxx. When I first did my first Jamie Foxx reaction, what was going on? And somebody was commenting um, about how they felt about the situation. And I said, bro, I think it's going to be a two-for-one deal. Jamie Foxx and Diddy. I thought Jamie Foxx was going to be out of here and Diddy was going to get charged for it, basically. And both of them probably end up being cloned, you know. But we don't know. We're going to find out. And we're going to keep the spice going because this is very interesting. I think there's a whole lot more to come. If you got, got any celebrity gossip news you want to see me talk about or give my opinion on, comment down below. Send me the link. Contact me through my social medias, anything. Patreon link is down below. Uh, the second channel link is down below. We passed 10K subs. We're on 11K subs already, man. That 11K came around the corner. 
came quick because you guys want to hit that 10,000 milestone. Now we're on the road to 20K. Without you guys, there's no me. Signing off, this is your boy, Mr. Relentless Lex, and I love each and every one of y'all. Did it!